since I'm pretty much ready and have an army, let us see what happens next. It's very funny that the doors can open themselves. So as I was saying, I went to the doctors yesterday and besides the weight part, everything else went pretty decently. I just need to drop some pounds. <laughs> of course, I do not need to say that. But I'm just saying how I feel about now. Let's see. Conquest. The fortress of Sharksburs in Nernin is yours. Yet this is only the first battle of the war for Mordor. For more and more for fortresses yet to be captured. Okay. Almost forgot to tell you one last thing. Now that you have my fort, it will eventually come under attack. Which, you already know since you attacked it once yourself. Nicely done, by the way. The thing is, you don't always need to be on the defense. You have scouts who can sniff out enemy forts, so you can go on the attack yourself. You know what they say, the best offense is a good offense. And don't worry about running low on orcs. If you ever need new recruits, you go talk to a glob they call the Headhunter. He'll sort you out. Oh, Shrock! I forgot to fill Ranger's feeding bowl before I left. He's gonna be cranky if I don't get back. <laughs> I'm coming, Ranger! Online conquests. Now that you have control of fortress, you can launch attacks against other players' fortresses. Start an online conquest mission to find a player to attack. If you succeed, you can improve your rank and earn valuable rewards. Let's see, be sure to bolster your own defenses as well. Powerful war chiefs and siege upgrades will strengthen your fortress. Other players can affect your orcs or your fortress in your game, but defending well against their attacks can improve their, your rank. Okay. Hmm. I want to get some art artifacts around this place first. Still gotta love this move. My first drill instructor told me, trust in your training, not your armor. Even a finely wrought plate can buckle under a hard enough blow, but a skilled warrior can evade that blow so it never lands in the first place. Now Minas Ethel has buckled under. Some blows are impossible to evade, so we do the next best thing. Stand back up again, wounded as we are. Hmm. This armor looks really cool, I will admit. This armor is intended to be ceremonial, yet it seems sturdy enough. As it should be. Gondor has little need for ceremony of late. You just have to bring that up, do you? You know, for the next one. Gondor's roots are literal ones, for our realm is intertwined with the White Tree, our greatest symbol and inspiration. Isildur himself gave our people the sapling that would grow into the White Tree, and it survived attacks from Sauron, plagues, and multiple transplants as Gondor's borders shifted in war. Today, the White Tree stands in our capital, Minas Tirith, though it will not blossom again until the king returns, as my father once said. Another interesting piece of artificial collectibles. The White Tree. A symbol of Gondor. Your nation will need more than symbols to inspire it soon enough. Wait a second, I don't need 
to mark it. It's just right over there. Now it's up to seven. We Gondorians are a seafaring people. Though our ships ply the coastlines and rivers, rarely venturing into the open sea. Yet it was not always so. Our ancestors, the Numenorians, and their elven allies sailed to other lands in ships like this model. Sailors even claim it's possible to sail so far into the ocean that land is too distant to see in any direction. Hard to imagine. So I suppose I'll have to see it for myself someday. It would be awesome to ride a ship in this game. Not in cutscene, but in gameplay. Did the elves truly sail in vessels such as these? In the first age, this would count among the most ordinary ships in our fleet. Hmm. I think I'll play this first. The Three Towers. Alteriel has spotted Nazgul nearby. Investigate the area to learn what they are planning. Taken these towers, we should find Eltarion. She must know what is happening. She could be watching us right now. Northman! The Witch King will possess this Hydea again. You will not get near it! Selected to be Galadriel's blade. I can't presume to know what is in an elf's mind. Surely this Galadriel would seem the best. I don't question whether she is the best, only whether she is the <laughs> first. I 
I said, a lot of glitches. From this mission. Yeah, let's do this. Come on. Uh, my controller is shaking and there's nothing happening. Come on, I don't have time for this. There we go. Oh my goodness, a growl is here. Enraged by Karagors. Okay. Captain and both the orc captain and Yeah. 
Grab some more arrows. Thank goodness. And skill point gained. With each char we reclaim, the Witch King's vision diminishes. We will rob the Witch King of more than his vision. New sword. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty much the same. I'm not using that. But I did get a new ring. Forgot to unlock skill. Hmm. Oh, wow. to gain from up here. Let's look at this. Because that one looks better. to go next. The fighting pits are the perfect place to test the strength of our orcs. Indeed. Let us hope we can get a seat. <laughs>
Cosby Fortress has a training ground, but there's nowhere better for an orc to hone his skills than to fight in the fighting pits. And there's no one who knows more about the fight pits than Bruise. Ah, the fight pits. You know, this is more than just a place to pop some orcs' heads off. Although that is uh, something I cannot recommend enough. But the fight pits are where you can test your followers. See what happens when they have a go at some other geezer. They're always bringing in tough orcs to fight. And if your fella survives, he'll be stronger for the experience. If he snuffs it, well, the one who done it in has what it takes. So there's a potential new recruit. And however it shakes out, your boys will love watching the show. Nothing boosts morale up like bodies going down. Traitor! You will Oh, geez. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna watch. Hmm. See, wasn't that a good time? It was a short was time. Laughs were had, blood was shed, and grog was drunk. Ah, there's no fight like a pit fight. <laughs> That was a very short mission. As you control the region, you can send your followers to fight in the pits. Followers who survive will increase their level. Send a follower to fight an enemy orc. Go to the fight pits mission start. Okay. Quests available at other region. More regions. Wow, awesome. Ugh. Can't believe Miss Ethel has fallen. My goodness. Challenges. Now you can travel throughout Mordor. You've also unlocked challenges. Complete challenges to sharpen your skills and earn rewards. You can view your challenges in the quest menu. Any Gondorians died during the fall of Miss Ethel that I know. Ranger's bow. At least I can hold up to eight at a time. And also, I'm now at level 20. Let's see how many stuff I have so far. Hmm. Unlock Grog Rider to begin this quest. Hmm. Some of these challenges I'll just do off screen. Right now, I'm just ready to do the main mission. <laughs> <laughs> 